Hey everyone, this is Jordan from SleekLens.com and in this quick video, I'm going to show you how to create a dramatic black and white effect using calculations in Photoshop. So normally if you were going to create a black and white image, uh, you would go down here to your adjustment layers and choose black and white and start playing around with all the sliders and try to get the sliders to your liking. It's a great way of doing it, but obviously we can try another way, another more easy way, another more automated way. So I'm going to delete that. I'm going to go over to image and go down here to calculations. Here I have this calculation dialog box here. and This gives me a little bit of options to choose from here. So you can actually pr play around with the source one channel, which uh, you can go to gray here and that kind of gives you this kind of a little effect. And the way I like to think about the RGB channels here is if I were to click on red, I get a little less contrast in my image. If I were to click on green, I get a little bit more contrast. And obviously a blue channel is actually a more contrasty kind of channel there. So you get a little bit more contrast there. So I'm going to keep my on red and I'm gonna go down to the channel source uh, channel to source I can actually play with that one as well and get another less contrasty uh, channel there you can also play with the blending mode which is really cool you can go over here to the blending mode you can choose all the other uh, favorite blending modes that you typically use so you can have a really cool kind of matte image matte uh, effect there or you can go down to overlay and get a really punchy effect soft light is actually a really good one but for this one I'm actually going to keep it on multiply this one will bring out a lot of the wrinkles in the skin and make it a really more dramatic image uh, you can take the opacity down as well and kind of get, get back a little bit more of the uh, highlights or whites in the image so I'm going to go ahead before I click OK I'm going to make sure my result is set to new channel so I'm going to click OK here. So as you can see, we got our result here. And what we're actually going to do to make sure we can get more adjustments to our, uh, our black and white image, we're going to go over to Channels. We're going to click on the Alpha 1 channel, make sure that is selected. That's the one that we just created. So we're going to click on that, click Command and Control A to select all, Command and Control C to copy. And then we're going to go over to Layers, create a brand new layer, and click Command and Control V to paste. So here we have the, uh, the the one that we just messed around with. We have the black and white version. We also have the color version underneath. And here we can actually go over here to our adjustment layers and maybe bring up our levels and start playing around with, uh, you know, finessing it a little bit, get a little bit more of a dramatic feel, play around with the blacks and the whites, and just kind of finesse it a little bit from there. So that's a quick and easy way to create a black and white, a dramatic black and white image using calculations in Photoshop. This is Jordan from Sleek Lens, and I'll see you in the next video.